We welcome you to Washington, D.C., a warm and steamy night here in our nation's capital. The Boston Glory coming off a great win last night in Philly, trying to sweep a really tough road trip. Tonight they battle the 6-3 and three D.C. Breeze here at Carlini Field. After playing most of the season on D, he's been on the starting O-line each of the past three games. It's funny because this Breeze team 6-3 and three, as we see the Jurek Huck sending Boxley, and plays like that make you wonder why DC doesn't do it more often. It was just perfect timing. It was a great decision to throw that. A lot of margin looks to take, and right now they're just running them. Edmonds to McCutcheon, back to Thomas Edmonds, going cross field. Bergeron is there, and DC has the break. Really good offense. Christian Boxley, star out of Georgetown, gets it to Rowan McDonald, the former MVP of this league back in 2018. And here's Johnny Mulks. Crossfield hammer for the 24-year-old. Handler is on the money. Second, Mulks to Healy, finishing touch of the quarter. And a fourteen. Scuba back for Davis Brand. And here's Sunday. Looking for Sadok, testing Rafis, and he beats him. Perfect throw, acrobatic bid, and a second score for Ben Sadok. <laughs> what a throw. I mean, this is really something. This is a, a lot of smart defense being played, and Boston is not able to move it right now with any flow. Tough space throw, Alexand Fall goes Weave, putting it just three people working the disc at once, making it simple. And now they get off to the races, building a little bit of flow. McSweeney gets it to Halkyard, looking up the line. Carapella is there, beating Merrill as the glory stopped the bleeding for the moment. Carapella has just been such a. Assuming DC can take care of business tonight, clinch their spot in the playoffs. They'll have either Boston or Philly in round number one, more than likely. Mox hammers. Andrew Roy plucks it. Third assist for Johnny. Taking a lot of passes, taking their time. Will Smolinski talked about motors, and Tyler Chan certainly has one this time with the hammer. Nice throw from Chan finding Davis. The hammer space has been effective for both sides as we see another crotch spike from Topher Davis. Here's one of the glory captains, Gus Halflin. Bartoli again, very casual. Kind of an excuse me throw for Ned Dick. Now here's Linehan looking up the line. Opportunity knocks for Boston as Gabe Colton runs it down. And the Glory are back within two. Taking advantage of mistakes, two of them. They get it on the second one. Is uh, kind of funny is that jump cutting doesn't work on the beach. And so if you're a big fan of Jack Williams and you see him use that classic jump cut, well, in, this, in the sand you kind of sink. Another hammer for a score. This time it's Monroe to Roy. Wood, and I still think a two for one at the end of the quarter is a good idea to score quickly and get another opportunity. Jurek's looking to score quickly, shooting it for Boxley. Tyler Chan peeled off as a defender and it did not matter as Boxley elevates over the pack for the DC goal. What a goal. <laughs> Just when you thought Tyler Chan had a line to the disc, First, the layout bid gives Cole Jurek a free backhand huck, and he's going to take that when seeing his favorite receiver deep. And Tyler Chan. Sadok back for McSweeney. Over to Sunday. Sunday just lets it rip. Clark versus Edmonds. Clark has position and takes control. Jay Clark getting it done for the Boston Glory. As they Sadok gets tripped a little bit. Not intentional. I should say both led him to the semifinals in different iterations. Excuse me. Troy Holland blanketing 
They're really tough defense, and yet they sneak it through to the small space for Davis Brand. And across the front line, it's Carapella, and he's in. Just like that, we're back within one. I don't know. How McDonald for Jurek. Time on Scuber. Mox has it. Boston with the disc and a chance. To it's a fun matchup watching Luke Rafis chase Sadok around. He requires so much energy to guard a Ben Sadok. You can see here, there's just nobody open. Just cut after cut after cut. And yet Boston able to stay perfect in the red zone tonight. They're now six for six. Final 20 seconds of this third quarter. Again, Boston will receive to start the fourth, so this is critical. The Breeze would love to head to the fourth with a two-goal lead. 10 seconds for Johnny Malk. Stall count rising. Malk gets rid of it, finds McDonald. Three seconds, cross field, hammer to Boxley. Beautiful. And that's how you execute at the end of a quarter. Fall the pressure, and it's incomplete after the bobble from Carapella. Edmonds picks up, gets it to Holland. And Holland to the end zone, fall, elevates, and scores! Alexandre Fall. With a bit of a dagger for DC. Breeze will finish the season at Philly next Saturday night, and then the following Friday at home against Toronto. Boxley shows off the speed. He shows you the acceleration that he has. They ran that no mark zone again. I wonder if they're gonna use it for end of quarter situations. Merrill, fourth block of the night for Joe Merrill. McSweeney, Harwood, and Graff, Carapella, and yet DC has outscored Boston 6-1 in the fourth. It's a 7-1 run dating back to the final possession of the third when this was just a one goal game. One more completion should do it. Cranston back for Ja, and it is all over. The DC Breeze with a furious fourth quarter to defeat Boston 22 to 15 and punch their ticket to the playoffs.